Now returning to our form in the design window, I've added another control called a list box. And this list box I've called LST display. And we can use the list box also for outputting our results. As the name suggests, list boxes are used for holding lists of items. And we can think of outputting to a list box as simply adding another item to the list. Now let's move over to the code window and write a line of code to display our output in the list box LST display. So in this case we write LST display dot items dot add and open a bracket. And think of this as simply adding something to the list of items in our list box LST display and what we'll add is the string that we wanted to display and then we close the brackets and if we run our program we should get our output this time displayed in our list box so let's try two different numbers this time let's say 3 hours and 45 minutes and let's convert it to minutes and there we have the output this time displayed in the list box if we click the button again, we notice that our list actually gets longer. The output appears in the list again. And if we click it a third time, now we'll have three sets of output in the list. So a good idea would be to clear the list box before we display any output in it. So let's go back to our code window and write another line of code that will do this. So let's write the line of code now to clear the list box. So it's LST display dot items dot clear. And this line of code will clear the list box before any output is displayed. So our next line then will just display one single line of output. So remember once again that we refer to the contents of a text box by referring to the text property of the text box. And if we want to store the contents of the text box in a variable, then those contents will appear on the right-hand side of our assignment operator. So in the case of storing the contents of txt hours in our variable hours, we have txt hours dot text on the right-hand side of the assignment operator and hours on the left-hand side, showing that hours is the variable where we're going to store a value. In our next lesson, we'll look at another method of input, which makes use of input boxes.